college basketball is officially back for the 2023-2024 season, and I'm sure y'all are just as excited as I am. I know everyone like Jeff Goodman hates on the college basketball slate in these first couple of days, but inevitably there will be a couple of upsets looking at you, Michigan State and Oklahoma State, a couple solid Power 6 matchups, and some solid mid-major action. But my absolute favorite tradition is the small schools with funny names that you've never heard of playing D1 teams this time of year. Before we continue on, I just want to say welcome to And the Foul, where we cover college basketball players, games, and moments. If you enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot. You can just scroll down the ESPN app, look at the scores, and pick out some funny names. But here's just a few of my favorites from the first couple days of college basketball. Stephen F. Austin invited North American in for a midday Monday matchup. Good luck guessing where that is. It's in Houston. SC State snuck by Voorhees, 65-57. Like Jason Voorhees? I'm not sure, but they had somebody named Tyler Willoughby drop 30 points. Shout out to that guy. Of course, you've got your Christian schools, Southwest Assembly of God, Southwest Adventist, Benedictine, Arizona, Dallas Christian, Jarvis Christian, Champion Christian. Wait, that one can't be real, right? Well, yeah, there it is. Champion Christian College located in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Okay, that is the shortest Wikipedia page I've ever seen. That's definitely not sketchy. You've also got the Mounts, Mount Olive, Blue Mountain, Mount Marty, and of course Mount St. Mary's. Look, I'm not disrespecting the Mount, I know they're D1. And then of course you have the name schools. You've got Malone, John Jay, Dalton State, William Carey, and of course his girlfriend Sarah Lawrence. Hell, even the Coast Guard pulled up for a game. I'm telling you, Northwest Indian College always gives someone a run for their money. And then with some of these, I can't even figure out what schools these are. Like, like what are these? What are these names? What do they mean? The craziest part of these matchups are the schedules that some of these teams play. It's like the old barnstorming days back in early college football and basketball, where schools would play like seven games in seven days or something like that. Northwest Indian played Montana State and Montana on back-to-back -back nights. Plenty of teams play two games in three days against D1 teams. St. Mary's beat someone named Stanislaus State, 107-28. San Francisco beat Bethesda 128-59. Like, seriously, what are we doing here? Look, at the end of the day, I just hope everybody has fun and nobody gets hurt. Thanks for watching and see you next time.